Hello everyone, this is Harry. Today, we have fantasy adventure film, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. The weapon lightning bolt of Zeus, the supreme god of Olympus, was stolen. He suspected that it was a descendant of Poseidon. Zeus asked Poseidon's son to return the bolt within 14 days. Otherwise, the battle of the gods would be launched. Percy was the son of Poseidon and Moral, but he never knew his identity. His mother to protect Percy from other gods found, got married to a drunkard to cover his demigod. The news that lightning bolt was stolen had spread in the divine world. Percy was the first suspect. Because he was the son of Poseidon, other gods wanted to get rid of the descendants of this god of war. Lest he grew up to endanger the struggle for theocracy. At the same time, they also wanted to find the bolt to strengthen their own strength. Nemesis was discovered by Mr. Brunner and Grover. They were descendants of the forest god. Grover was a half-goat, Brunner was a human, and also was the guardian of Percy. The centaur drove the vengeance away and gave Percy a pen as a weapon. Told him to play a role at the critical moment. In order to avoid other gods coming, Grover informed Percy's mother, Sally, to take refuge in a special camp. On the way, Percy learned the truth from his mother, and the Minotaurs of Hell were coming. As soon as they got to the gate of the camp, the Minotaur came after Sally and caught her. Percy saw that his mother was in deep crisis, which stimulated the demigod blood in his body. He took out his pen and turned it into a long sword to fight the Minotaur. While fighting, Percy successfully discovered his potential power. He pulled out the broken horn and inserted it into the Minotaur's heart. But also because of physical overdraft fainted, woke up again after three days, Percy thought he had a dream. But he saw Grover's leg and he knew it was true. This was a half-man half-god demigod camp. The children born by gods and mortals lived here. They had never met their parents. Because Zeus ordered the gods not to see their children. But these children were inherited from the gods. It was said that many descendants of gods had made extraordinary achievements. They learned to use power here. Gradually grew into a leader, warrior and hero. And Percy was a son of one of three greatest gods. Lineage was very strong, as long as successful awakening. He could be invincible in the battle. The centaur told Percy that Zeus's lightning bolt was the most powerful weapon in the world. If not returned in time, the gods would go to war and destroy the whole earth. At this moment, Percy had a huge responsibility to wake up the lineage of God. Only in this way, they could have the power to protect themselves. For this reason, he participated in the actual combat exercises of the soldiers. The members of the exercise were divided into two teams, they won when taking the flag of other team. Percy joined the blue team in a fierce scuffle. Leader Luke dragged the enemy and asked Percy to find the flag. Percy also met Annabeth here, the daughter of Athena, the goddess of wisdom. Annabeth, who had rich experience in fighting, defeated Percy in a few moves. In the dark, Percy heard someone guiding him to the water. Percy touched the water and successfully awakened the blood of Poseidon. Several wounds on the body were instantly healed. At the moment, Percy was like a dragon returning to the sea. With a few moves, he could defeat other soldiers. Annabeth was also heard to defeat Percy's amazing fighting power. Finally, Percy calmly threw the crowd to pull out the flag to win. In the evening, Hades appeared in the camp. He sent Percy to hell to trade the lightning bolt for his mother. The centaur thought Hades was cruel. If he knew that Percy had no lightning bolt, he would kill Percy. So he suggested that Percy went to Zeus to explain clearly before saving his mother. But Percy was eager to save his mother, so he could only pretend to promise. In the evening, he packed up to go to the hell. Annabeth grew up in the camp and never went out. She knew that Percy would sneak out, she wanted to explore with him. So they found Luke, the son of Hermes, looked for the way to hell. However, the place like Underworld could only go in, but couldn't go out. So Luke gave Percy a pair of winged shoes and a map. It was said that Hades married a woman by force. The woman was unwilling to be trapped in the Underworld, and always wanted to sneak out. So he hid a lot of green pearls in the mortal world, which could quickly escape the underworld. The location of the pearls was marked on the map. Just found one, and the next one would appear. Luke also gave Percy a shield for a rainy day. Three people got clues to go to the first destination. Annabeth found the ancient Greek coins here, so she was sure to find the right place. Unexpectedly, this was the home of Medusa. When we looked at Medusa, we would be petrified. A few people could only fight with her eyes. In the chaos, Percy sneaked down Medusa's head from behind and got the first green pearl from her hand. Then they found a second one based on the coordinates of the map. But this pearl was on top of the statue of Athena. They had to wait for the knight to sneak in. Percy borrowed the winged shoes to get the green pearl. But at this time, Hydra came to ask Percy for the lightning bolt. Percy launched the ability of Poseidon to resist the Hydra attack. At the crisis moment, he took out Medusa's head and took off the sunglasses. Hydra was petrified instantly. The third green pearl was in a Las Vegas casino. As soon as they entered the door, a waitress delivered lotus cakes. As everyone knew, this was the home of lotus eaters. They became very excited and satisfied after eating. Their minds were not controlled by the brain, and was very obsessed with the things around. After a period of time, there were constantly patrolling attendants to send lotus cakes. At this time, a voice came to Percy's mind. 
Let him stop eating the bewitching lotus cake, or he would be a prisoner here forever. After hearing that, Percy remembered the purpose of his trip. He chatted with a random tourist in the crowd. It turned out that this man was from the last era. In their mind, they just came for few hours. Percy saw the situation was not right, quickly found Green Pearl and woke up the other two friends. Security found several people waking up and tried to stop them. In chaos, Percy picked up the Green Pearl. They drove the prize car and broke out of the door. They came out and found that five days had passed. Only one day to return the lightning bolt. They found the entrance to hell according to the location. But the ferryman said that only dead could go to hell. Percy took out the ancient Greek coins found in Medusa's home. The ferryman agreed to let them on board. After entering hell, the Empress of the Underworld brought people to see Hades. He wanted the lightning bolt in order to defeat Zeus. The three greatest gods were brothers. Zeus was the king of the gods and ruled the universe. Poseidon, the god of the sea, ranked second after Zeus in power. Hades, the eldest son, was drawn to the underworld. He didn't want to live in this dark hell. He wanted to overthrow the theocracy of Zeus and be the new king of the gods. Hades asked Percy to hand over the lightning bolt and let his mother go. But Percy confessed that he had no lightning bolt and was just a scapegoat for the thieves. Hades thought that Percy was lying, so he used his mother as a threat. Percy saw that his mother was safe and sound. He threw down his shield and hugged her. He didn't expect that the lightning bolt was hidden in the shield. Hades felt cheated, sent out evil spirits and hellhounds to kill them. Just at this time, Hades' wife took the lightning bolt and knocked Hades down. She didn't want Hades to be the king of gods. Because she could only be with Hades. And in hell she can teleport out and have fun with a lot of people. If the battle of the gods started, she would lose the fun. So after the underworld queen knocked down Hades, she removed his memory about lightning bolt. But Percy had only three green pearls. There were four people after saving Percy's mother. There had to be one person left. The underworld queen was very interested in Grover. So let him stay and the other three went out of the hell. To the entrance of Olympus. At this point, Luke appeared in his flying shoes. It turned out that all this was a plan of Luke. He stole the lightning bolt and put the blame on Percy to stir up the war between the gods. Took the opportunity to seize the divine power and to prevent Percy to send back the lightning bolt before midnight. Luke and Percy had a battle, and they too were wearing the winged shoes flying from heaven to earth. The battle couldn't end up, Percy launched Poseidon's ability, summoned all the water nearby to resist Luke. Then water coagulated a trident, and the battle was over. Finally they entered Olympus through the entrance. Percy arrived at Zeus' palace before midnight, and returned the lightning bolt. Everything was back to peace. In the end, Percy asked Zeus to save Grover from the underworld. He and Annabeth continued to train at the camp. Maybe one day they could save the world again. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to follow and like my videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.